A sandhill crane spotted with an arrow through its body. Concerned Lake County homeowners are now hoping New 6 can help get results. New 6 is Nadine Yanis is live in Umatilla today, not far from the North Lake County Park. And Nadine, FWC is now investigating this? Yeah, Ginger, and it's all because of a picture that homeowner Jane Lynn took from her front yard here. She says on any given day during the morning and evening, she can have up to 20 sandhill cranes here on her property eating for bugs here and looking for bugs here. And she says uh, that's what she was enjoying on Saturday morning when she spotted one of those sandhill cranes with an arrow through its neck and chest. And she says it isn't the first time. We can see anywhere from 16 to 20 or more. This is a picture of what Jane Lynn sees in the front of her property on any given day. They're just beautiful birds. But on Saturday, she snapped this picture, though hard to see, of a sandhill crane with an arrow in its neck. The other three flew away. It was left here by itself, just walking in circles and making all kinds of squawking noise. And it wasn't the first time. This is a picture from their wildlife camera of a crane also with an arrow in its body. Oh. Another Umatilla resident then sent us this video he took a few weeks ago, where more clearly there's an arrow right through a sandhill crane eating here. I would like to take those arrows and put them in the person who did it. FWC saying today it's the same sandhill crane here in Northern Lake County, reportedly shot three or four years ago. And they never took the arrow out because a biologist claimed it would cause more harm if they did. As long as it's eating and can fly, it has probably got um, adhesions that's healed up around the arrow and it'll just live that way till it dies. But Jane insists someone here is shooting several cranes. How do you know that it's a different bird? Because they're shot in different places and the arrows are sticking out of different parts of their body. Mm -hmm. And the arrows are different colors. They're either silver, chrome, black, or wood. And she's hoping to get results and get it to stop. And so at six o'clock tonight, we're going to hear from FWC on the punishment, what you could face if you're caught hurting a sandhill crane. We're also going to hear about what FWC is going to do now that we call today. All of that in my story at six. Until then, we're live in Northern Lake County. I'm Nadine Giannis getting results. News six. Yeah, I can understand why she called Nadine. Thank you.